Um, hello guys welcome to my video on my channel or okay I just uh, thought I'm gonna do a video about my quadcopter or drone um, this is my project which I'm as you can see I'm still in the building process I just wanted to share my experience this is quite cheap one I didn't pay more than a hundred eighty pounds maybe less for the whole lot um, without the camera and uh, and the controller okay let me show you a couple of things which and the problems I came up with. Maybe I can uh, help others not to do the same mistake. For example, as you can see, this is a CC3D um, flight controller. I bought this really cheap. I think it cost me around six pounds. I just wanted to try something out. Before I had this uh, SP Racing uh, this one, this is quite a smart one, but it's really, really hard to tune this for this big drone to fly steady. And after a couple of attempts, and I dropped it a couple of times, uh, I thought it's probably something wrong with it, but then I ordered this one and this was this this CC3D is a lot better than that one for this it's a lot easier to tune and it's flying much much better it's still not perfect anyway after a long research <coughs> I decided to go for this one huh? the um, Ardu pilot or something I got this from Aliexpress it wasn't expensive I'm waiting for it I didn't get it yet and I think that's gonna make a big difference for FPV as you can see this is my um, my camera mount I did I this I made this custom made in a 3d printer because you can't find these pieces uh, this one is the board that controlling the the whole gimbal but I'm I'm still in the project so I'm just I just put this here to so I can test it I'm I'm, I'm planning to put this uh, here on the on the top of this uh, power distribution board this is my power distribution board and this one is my new I just got this this is my new Airshin FPV uh, video transmitter. I didn't have time to finish mounting it. I'm still, uh, I'm still. I think I'm gonna wait for my uh, flight controller first and see how I'm gonna put it and where I'm gonna put that. So then I can put this in. I don't need to move it again. But this one is quite nice I think it's gonna work perfectly I'm planning it to put it like this in here somehow um, other things um, oh yeah let me show you the back I decided to go for this double plug so I can use two batteries because I have some uh, small batteries, like uh, 15,000 milliampers, I think. And uh, I have a small drone, like an Airshin 250, which is using that small battery. So I can plug two of them in here. This way I don't need to buy a new battery. I can use them and use this. I can easily buy another one of them, like this one. So this one is a 2,200. 
ones. I can put another one here, so I have a 4000 milliampere, more than 4000, almost 4500, so I can get a long flight. <coughs> anyway, yes, and I got a GPS for that, uh, that flight controller. Now I'm only waiting for a couple of parts to finish it and tune it. Once it's finished, I'm gonna post a couple of videos on how it's flying. And this is it. I'm gonna put in this in the description or the most of the parts I have used for this build. And good luck. Any questions please ask. Thanks.